When Albert Einstein published his special theory of relativity, he discovered that the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit of the universe. But before we get to talking about the holy grail of speeding tickets, we need to understand some basic characteristics of light. And the first is that light, which travels 300 million meters per second, travels at a constant speed everywhere in the universe. We can observe this ourselves. I'm in a paraglider, moving about 10 meters per second relative to the ground, and my friend Joe is stationary on the ground. If we both decide to measure the speed of light, we find that it is 300 million meters per second. Simple enough. However, this produces a problem. Shouldn't my beam of light be going 10 meters per second faster than Joe's? What's happening here? Well, according to Einstein, space and time, which are not constant but relative, stretch and shift in order that we all observe the speed of light moving at sea. This is why it's called the theory of relativity, where space-time changes, even though these changes are extremely small at these speeds, so that we all measure the speed of light to be constant from all points of view. This famous revelation made by Einstein changed the way we think about space and time. But what's so wrong about going the speed of light? That is where quantum mechanics steps in. The standard model, a theory in quantum physics, tries to explain the entire known universe and all the forces in nature using a special set of particles known as the fundamental particles. According to the standard model, every process in the universe, from the strong nuclear force holding the cores of atoms together, even to the digestion of this banana, can ultimately point back to the quantum action of bosons, a special type of fundamental particle which moves at the speed of light. So. When we look at our bodies and the spacecraft at the subatomic level, we see all the bosons acting and interacting, transferring forces and energy at the speed of light. But when we get to the speed of light, the bosons stop moving in relation to us. We're now moving at exactly the same speed as these particles, and we no longer measure their speed to be 300 million meters per second, like we did before, but zero meters per second. The transfer of these light speed particles is what enables the forces of nature to work but now that we're moving at exactly the same speed as light, they no longer hold atoms together. Time becomes imperceptible and the laws of physics just break down. Whoa! Light determines the ultimate limit of the existence of anything because it stops the actions of bosons. And that's frustrating. But when we explore physics, we discover more about what we're made of and how the universe works. And there is no limit to what we may discover from that. 